Hello, this is Abdul Wakil Nazari. I would like to welcome you to RU eLearning Online University Economic Department. Today we can talk about organization development. Organization development, the subjects allocated for students of 8th semester. Chapter number 1 is introduction. The, the understanding of the concept of organization development, that why we are going to study it. So before start the actual concept, the actual organization development, first we are going to study with some challenges and challenges you will get to know about the concept that why we are going to study and what is and why it is important to study organization development challenges for organization number one what do you say that we live in the world that has been has been turned ups and down the world which we are living and is full of is not a static, stat, static, is a dynamic, it's a changeable. Changes are coming, variations are coming in here. Of course, if you look at in 2020, see, go back and observe 1990s. So you will see something completely different. The people were in that time, their test, their desire, their, their desire, their life and this life were completely different. When you come back to 2020, see and observe the people right now. It's completely different. Their life and dislike, desire, want, sort of thing is different. So, the thing is that a company which is operating currently, is operating currently and going with the flow, so they are surviving right now. And a company which are not going with the flow, they are not surviving. So what do you think that? Do you think a company of 19's product, their lifestyle of their product, the design of their product, your, the test of your product will be applicable in the 2020, 2022, will be applicable? The same without any variation. No. The answer is no. Because the time changes. When the time change, so definitely the people, their needs and wants, their tests are changes. So being a being a businessman, so you have to change your organization you have to change your business according to the change the of your customer desires. So for that we have to have R&D department inside the organization so they can update you timely and tell you what new comes in the market so that you have to adapt it adopt and bring the changes to your organization so you have to go with the flow like many companies they are disappeared is that like cellular companies like Nokia, Nitrola or many other many other companies which is currently they are disappearing at the top at the at, at the at the at the past they were in the top company. They were, they were counted in the top companies, but right now they are completely disappeared, and they are working for their survival, and just they are working for their survival. Right now they are disappeared. Now why? The reason is that they didn't go with the flow, because they didn't observe the customer, their customer needs. So they didn't have marketing research proper. That's why they are disappeared. So as we can say that the world is has been turned ups and down. If the world is turning ups and down to so being a businessman, you have to go with the flow of the world. Whatever the, the people, the world is changing. The culture, the, the culture, their wants, desires is changing. So you have to change yourself. So that grab the market. So that grab the attention of your customer. You know, if you look at that companies are companies are pouring money technology management expertise into the region that they want off limits acquiring new enterprise forming joint venture creating a global business for and from the ground ground up why companies are pouring too much money on technology on management expertise why they are going for acquisition of enterprises 
form a joint venture, creating new global business from the ground, from the basic. Why? For the sake of to survival, for the sake of growth, for the sake of year to to grab a new market. Because today traditional way of business traditional traditional way to doing business and technological business it's up to you whether you go with a traditional business and whether you go with a technological business now when you go with a traditional business the traditional business are not that much successful they can they will grow but that slowly now technological business they go with a fast move so many companies they put too much money on management expertise they're joining they you know they're looking for expertise in the region so that they should give them full information that how to survive what this market needed because an expert will tell you all the things an expert will guide you properly some organizations they are you know for their survival they go with the you know they go with the acquisition they acquire an established business in the market some people think about that some some businessmen think that if I if I come to this market if I come to this market for example a businessman want to come to the Kabul market in the Kabul market you think that if I come if I start from the very ground floor so maybe maybe it for me it will be difficult to survive so why not let's me let's let's acquire a business now acquisition of a business need to acquire an established business established business which is already is already running business now acquiring a running business now for example if if I if any businessman wants to open any sort of educational uh, educational you know educational certain or more the education institute institute into the copper market now First, he will observe. First, he will observe to the market. Um, so definitely, he said, uh, "Why not? If I go, if I invest my money from the ground floor, so you know, he will think up to ten years. After ten years, I'll be there. But currently, the the businesses who come currently, the institutes are currently which they are working, they are there. But I will be there." after 10 years so why not let's acquire right now that business let me acquire that business which is already running with a giving an extra lump sum amount so I it means that he acquired 10 years the 10 years you know the 10 years gain he just he just you know he just save has 10 years gain now just put the has focus on that rather than working from the ground floor and coming back and reaching that, that point it will take a loss of time next one joint venture many businesses they go with a joint venture why they go for the joint venture for the sake of to survive because many companies they are already you know and um, for example one company um, like a, you might have seen two companies over here they have to go with a joint they doing a joint venture one joint venture the concept is for the sake of one is a stage of in a stage of a growth another stage of boom right yeah one is in stage of in demolishing stage or very uh in a, with a as in a stage where a business a decline stage now a decline stage of company just joint venture with a company which is in a boom stage for the sake of survival now that company is dragging a boom company dragging the joint wing that 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 decline stage company with it, with itself in order to they want why they're joint venturing for the sake of survival now many businesses they go with the ground floor they go with the ground up from the ground and start with the ground up with a new ideology with a new concept like in Japanese Japanese whenever they go to any market they just see that there, there's a their tactic is what? What is their tactic? Their tactic is that they go, you know, whenever they go into the market, they see, they see us, they, they find it a foot, you know, foot space. 
a small space and they invest too much money so after some time they acquire all market that is the concept that is the strategy of the Japanese they, they want to just enter in anything and anything whether they do a joint venture or anything but but they want to be to enter to the market once they enter into the market they invest that much amount of money but after some time they acquire the whole the whole market many major companies are going through significant changes including outsourcing downsizing re-engineering self-managed work teams flattening organizations going routine jobs with automations and computers lots of change many many significant changes out here outsourcing Downsizing for here, re-engineering for here, self-management work tools for here, changes. So these are the changes which are very needed, which are companies which they think that these are significant for them. For outsourcing, they are unable to find a, that particular person, a particular person for a particular job. That's why they go for outsourcing. They hire from another company. They outsource the skills of other person from the from the external place just there for a limit for a limit a limit duration after project finished will get finished but uh, they go for outsourcing strategy downsizing if they see their companies that the companies are unable to uh, unable to do something in the market so they are themselves downsizing their main power or they restructuring the organization redesign the organization because if the organization the people are changing and the people are changing the people their need their their you know in the inside the market their desires are changing the people their uh, their tests are changing so definitely they go with the re-engineering they change their strategies self-management work teams they work on their you know they work on their people they invest on your people so that you should make you know a huge you know what is that that the huge investment is your main power investment when you invest on your main power on your self-management that will be payback it will give you payback with the interest many times organizations are there demolish or they are not able to perform just because of their organization structure structure of higher level of hierarchy maybe that is a horizontal or vertical structure maybe there is a there's a problem with the horizontal or vertical structure too much layers over there so that's why they are just decreasing the layers and to make it to make it easily you know when they are decreasing the layers of inside the organization for the sake of what for the sake of in order to monitor observe properly the operation of organization now another big challenge for that is a challenge another big challenge for organizations that is a routine doing routine jobs with automations and computers now traditional way of doing jobs and with the computers that is completely different now people show their resistance many organizations they are unable to bring changes they are showing their resistance they are not going with the flow many organizations the top management they are not Yes, and always, you know, they are always trying to show you their resistance. That no, top management, many employees is not concerned that only the top management they show the resistance. That's suppose top manager wants to bring the change, but the lower top they are showing the resistance. Resistance for what? For not going with the change. Now that's a that's a you know from traditional way. In Afghanistan, government system is completely traditional. Now, if we bring the computerized system, so definitely showing the 
resistance. Like you might, you you are a witness for that. You are a witness. If you see, you might have observed that when a e electronic electronic tasquera electronic cards electronic tasquera identity cards were introduced, manual system were wanted to finish. I know people show a loss of resistance in a different ways. But still, this change is going to come to Afghanistan. People accept it. People accept it that yes, we want this. We want this change. We want e taskera rather than paper taskera. These are the challenges we are facing. Some experts contend, contend that if you can describe a job as precisely or write the rules for doing it, the job will be private, probably. Also. Look, inside the organization, once we design, once we design a job, and inside design, we need to specify the job and also and we insert job description and we said that this is the role responsibility of any person to do that that's it he or she will not do the rest of the other things will not do extra activity will not do all that uh, only we mention this 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 is job up to limited that's it so that when you precise when you precise it, when you precisely describe your job, and you mention the rules for doing that, that no one can violate, that's it. No. So from that time, that job will not survive. Why? Because everyone wants change. Look, a person who work for on a one post, for how long he or she going to work? For one year, for two years, for three years. How long? Because, you know, definitely if anyone work on one position for five years, he or she will get tired. He or she will get sick and tired. But better, better. I don't want to work for a longer time. So we have to change it variation bring the variation make it interesting year by years bring the variation in that position that might be interesting that it, that seems interesting if doing a person is doing only only one job all the time or because the rules are with for the same uh, rules that whatever the rules that they are doing the same thing all the time they say no and they are saying that our TOR is mentioned these is things that's it no and you didn't bring any reason in it so what will happen then actually you need you limit the concept you limit the uh, that you know you limit the ideology of that person up to that up to uh, that frame that you designed for this job being a organization of being a manager or being a leading of the organization. So your duty is that you have to bring the variations, short, small, small variations in it, so that the jobs will be more interesting, become more interesting. So that's another challenge for that's another challenge for for a leader or for a top management or for managers or that's also a challenge that when they're limited or when they describe the size of the rules for doing any job. So from that time and that rule is for all the time, all the years. So it means that that job will probably not survive. You know? So you have to bring variation in it. A short short variation. Change in 
avalanching down up and hex and most people are ultra unprepared to cope with you know changes are coming suddenly they're coming suddenly they never tell you that i'm coming market is changing suddenly global change is come suddenly change never comes with the volume with it with a sound that i'm the one who's coming with the change so being a manager being a organizational organization leader you have to be mentally prepared for anything will happen that any change anything will happen you have to bring that they have to think about that what if this will comes what will do if this will happen what what i should have a plan for that so for he will mentally psychologically you know uh, he or she will mentally psychologically will be active you know active for to cope with that change tomorrow the world will be different from today calling for a new organization approaches as we said change is okay the big change today is completely different from tomorrow now tomorrow you will not see what will happen back but you have to make it look good for that you know organizations are actually they are alert they are that yes if this this change will come tomorrow so what what i should do the changes might be with the market change with the trust for the people the size comes the size will change definitely if that educational system the system of the system so at the past and a gas from only bachelor were there so now the organizations for thinking and they are limited only for bachelor but those who think that no bachelor is not limit bachelor is not enough tomorrow might be you know they go for the master they desire for the master so definitely you are acting that If tomorrow they desire for the master, they go for the master. Well, why not to think from right now, from here, and make a plan for a future that I will have a master degree. I will provide a master degree. Are you making a plan for that? If you didn't make any plan for your future, you will not survive in the market. You will be disappear. Organization will need. to be adopting to these changes market conditions at the same time coping with the needs for renewing rather than reactive forces you know the changes are coming the change whatever the changes occur inside the market organization should adopt it changes inside the market comes and fit and and you know bring it inside the organization every day managers are confronting massive and accelerated changes every day managers are confronting massively accelerating the changes in the manager you have to look around yourself all oh, every day you have to see and observe the market what is going on get the information from your or in the department go practical to the market and observe them. what is going on sometimes being a manager sometimes you have to come down and stay stay work directly work directly to the customers and ask on the customer what are the changes that you want to make if you are tell them 
tell them that if this business is yours, so what, what changes will you bring in that product? Suppose you are a manager, what all the changes will you bring? Ask from your ask from your main power, give them free hand, free hand of advice, free hand to give to give you advice. The successful 21st century manager must deal the chaotic world of new competitors and consensus innovation. No, look. Currently, the managers they must work. They must work with the new competitors and with the constant innovation. Because at the beginning, I have told you this world is completely. In a dynamic process it is not a static 2020 is not similar with the 1990s it's completely different so for that if you want to bring if you want to adopt if you want to cope with the current society if you want to cope with the current market so you have to you have to go with the you have to go with the flow Observe your competitors. Observe your competitors. What your competitors doing? Now, if your competitors are doing with the technology, so you have to go with the way with the technology. And consistently looking for innovation, try to bring radiation in. Now, innovation is one of your each point to get the market. If you're looking for comparisons and what your comparator is doing and you're uh, adopting in that and same you are also doing that so you will be yeah you are going with the flow but you're not bring any develop any growth in your business you will not be leading the market for leading your market you have to bring the innovation in it you have to bring the new changes now how this innovation how this new changes are I'll bring it into the market. So you have to discuss with the team, with your employees. Come to the particular market, discuss with the customer. Now innovation will occur on the best of needs and needs of your customers. And change your new model for production and give them with the production. Successful of 21st century, is it? in the future, the only winning companies will be ones that respond correctly to change. Remember that. In the future, the only winning companies will be ones that respond quickly to the change. A company who responds to the change, that company will be succeeded. That company will succeed in the future. If they did not respond to the change, they will not survive the market. Let me make it clear once again. Those who go with the flow for the change, whatever the changes coming into the market and they adopt and start dealing with that they will survive in the market otherwise they will not survive in the market if they didn't go if they take for granted any change they say okay no it's okay i'll bring the change in the future but right now the changes are coming but they didn't adopt the changes so what will happen now what will happen? They will demolish. They will be completely disappear from the market. For so those who will survive, those who deal with the change, definitely they will survive. This concept not take as organization concept. This this concept do not take as organization perspective. If you take it to your 
first the perspective. For example, right now you're doing a bachelor. Right now you're doing a bachelor and you have to finish it. Now but inside the a job to so the money for the mosque. So what do you do that? You say, you are, what do you do? That? Well, you go with the, for a master degree or not? If you are not going to the master degree, the others will go with the master. So definitely tomorrow they will crack the job and they will get the high salary. But you work, yes, you also got a job. But that job is completely different. The, that perspective from the master degree perspective those who get their master they get the they get the job and they will be paid by yours so you really go with the change so maybe maybe tomorrow your company will announce that they will firing those those employees those who have bachelor degree they won't master. So what do you do that? So you have to, you know, for being to uh, respond to the change, you have to go with the flow. Modern managers, modern manager must not only flexible and adopt in the changing environment, but mo must also be able to diagnose the problem and implement change. Currently, the managers, you know, no, not only need to be flexible and adopt the change in environment, but also to diagnose the problem. Diagnose the problem. Change is not here. Change is not here. They are adopting their change. You know, a problem comes, and they they bring this. Okay, now they come up with this. Know the problem, where the problem originated, from where this problem originated, from where the problem is originated, that means it. not only to diagnose the current problem, it's working right now on that and maybe the solution for that and if you make a change to the that, whatever the future problem is which is expected to be occurred, to also diagnose that also. A lot of problems will be there in the market. A lot of problem customers they have problems they will face. But many companies they address that problem. Those who address the problem, they will and they will grab the market. Those who didn't address the problem, they will unable to. Organizations are never completely static. As I told you that organization is not completely static, it's dynamic nature. If organizations are dynamic in nature, you know, organizations are never completely static. Even organizations are also never a static. Always coming, you know, um, if you being a manager, if you think that organization is static, so it is from that time to you completely. Your concept, your describe your structure, describe your from that position. The moment you think, you start from the moment you thought that an organization where I'm working, that is a completely strategy. I'm going with that, with this same strategy. That's it. No, I will not change my strategy. So right now, you start demolishing, you start, uh, you know, destroying the, of your organization. You're destroying that because in the future it might a lot of changes will face but you go with the same strategy it means that you will not be able to cope with that change if you will if it if your organization will not be able to cope with the future change so what will happen your same strategy will not work to adopt that for that you have to bring the variation in your business in your organization so that you adopt it for the sake of survival but that's why we can say that it's not a completely static. Don't be think about your relationships with your static. It is dynamic nature. Bring the variations in it. Structure variation. 
design variations, job role and responsibility variations, so that adopt the organization that opportunity. They are continuous interaction with the external forces. This, the last line is completely linked with another line, above line. Organizations are completely static. They are continuously interaction with external. External forces. What are external forces? Well, we can say that. Uh, polka, yeah. Political instability. Political changes are coming. Economical changes are coming. Social changes are coming. Legal changes are coming. And these are the changes which are coming. Polit political, economical, legal, social. The changes coming into the that which is the, these are the external forces which affect on your organization, which affect on your organizations. If you did not deal with that, those changes, you will be unable to survive. You have to make plan that political changes are coming, so what to do? Economical changes are coming, what should I do? And social changes are coming, what should I do? So you have to deal with all these changes. You have to look all these scenarios in a, for make a future perspective for that. If this, this will happen, make a, you know, uh, ideology for that, future ideology for that, make assumption for that, and for bringing bringing solution for all your assumptions if tomorrow anything will happen if something will happen but in the future at that will something will happen so that will be similar to your assumptions that assumptions so then you will think that is not a new problem for you to deal with that for you it is a is a always a solved problem because you have already assumed similar problems in the past Changing cons consumer lifestyles and technological breakthrough all act on the organization to cause it to change. Two things. Consumer lifestyle and technological breakdowns. Breakthrough. Technological changes, customer lifestyle changes. These two things will have a huge effect on your organization. It will cause it, cause it your organizations. Observe your customer. Observe the technological the area of technology. How you observe technology, you have to observe the your competitors. You have to observe globally. So similarly, you know, whatever the business you will have, now observe the similar business all over the globe. So what they are doing, what they are doing for bringing effectiveness for satisfying your customers. Now these two things will huge impact on your business organization if you're not taking care if you're not taking care of the customer lifestyle or if not technological so definitely you will face a huge problem in the future if you didn't cope with that if you didn't observe that the degree of change may vary from one organization to another but all face the need for adoption adoption to external forces from one organization to another organization, maybe the degrees are changing. The degrees are changing. One, mm, the one might need a s small changes. Another might need huge change. Now the degree of change of one organization to another is both are different. But, but all face the need for adoption of external forces. The degree, whether that is short, small, or a large degree of variations, any organization needed. But within organization, they are different. But the variations from where they should adopt, from the where should they observe, the changes from which, from where they, from where it comes on them, from where the changes affect, cause them, that is the external forces. Maybe, but I'm sure. External force changing in variation and external force changes political, economical, social, legal. These changes can affect maybe it will affect it affected if affect one company shorter, another company in a larger company, you know, larger portion. So but the both short or bigger portion of variation comes inside the organizations. Both come from here from external. 
Now, many of these changes are faced upon organization, whereas others are generated internal because change in occurring so rapidly, there is no, there is a need for new ways to manage it. Many of these changes are faced upon organization, whereas others are generated internally. Many of these are, you know, a lot of changes, most of changes occur. They force, you know, many of these changes are forced upon organization. Political changes, economical changes, social changes, they are forcible. That force it. That force on that. They're forcing on the organization to change yourself. Where others are generated internal. Intern internal generated internally. Many other changes which are generated internally. Many other changes are generated internally. Like within your organizations. The structure, the design. Now, actually, the force, which external force, external variation can affect the internal. If the external variation comes, so definitely it will affect your internal. It will affect your internal. It will affect your internal. Is it very clear that external are forces forced on you to bring internal variation? Sometime, you know, sometime these choices are occur very rapidly. Very, very rapidly. You know, changes are occurring on changes are occurring there coming but being the organization being a manager you have to be very adaptable and to deal with that all those changes very with a new with a new and with the new ways now you know all the time you have to deal with your main power so that you bring solution for any change very quickly If you look at in here, organizations can affect look, this diagram. Organization will force these things. When you look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six, six forces which affect, which affect your organization, the force to your organization to bring variation within organization. Government changes, stakeholder, stockholder changes. Of older force, union force, government force, competitor force, supplier force, customer force. The external variations, you will look at these are the external forces which affect the internal forces. Organization internally must. Internal organization must change, cope with that in order to deal with that in order to survive in the market for the sake of survival. For the sake of survival. Now, if organizations did not deal with all the external forces, so that they will not be survived for a long time. For survival, you need it. To, you must need to adopt external forces. Deal with external forces, and you will be able to survive. I would like to end the lecture number one to here, and uh, our next lecture will be growth and relevancy of organization. Directly. Uh, we'll talk about the next
Thanks a lot for your watch. Thank you.